Hi everyone, it's Gabe, and today I have an amazing haul. I haven't done a haul in so long. I don't even know if I have any haul videos up in my channel even right now, but I have been thrifting like crazy for the past couple months, and yesterday I hit the mother load, and by that, like, I know I see a lot of girls or people who... Um, do Depop for a living and then they walk out of a thrift store with like two carts full of just thrifted stuff and they sell it all. Um, I found like four or five items yesterday and that's like insane for me. Like usually I walk out with nothing and if I'm lucky I, I come out with like one or two things that I want to keep or that I want to sell. But yeah, there's a theme <laughs> um, which is rainbow and 80s. It's really insane and it's like everything I got is like so like my aesthetic but I am selling most of it I think I am one of those people like I really have trouble like seeing the value in some things if I'm not interested in them so maybe I do miss out on things I could sell which is unfortunate but like that means my depop is kind of like curated to what I what I like which is kind of cool and it shows like my personality I guess which you know, it's not necessary for business, but I think it's nice. Anyways, I, I don't even know how many items I have. I have a couple toys. I have some clothing items. I have some nip, nip, knickknacks. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the stuff I found last night. So two days ago was my birthday and I was sick on my birthday. So I celebrated it yesterday with my mom and it was really fun. We went out to eat and then I just had a feeling like, oh my God, we need to go to Savers. I feel like I'm going to find stuff. And I did. <laughs> um, this is one of the first things I saw. It's so crazy cute. Okay. It's a rainbow purple like winter coat it's not like my my rainbow windbreaker that I got online it's like a sturdy winter coat and I think it even has a hood yeah it has a detachable hood and the inside is blue this is the brand and it's actually a children's 14 but I'm a large I have really short arms though and it fit me and it fit my mom, too, who's a medium, but it was a little short on the arms, but I know a lot of people don't really care about that. If I didn't already have um, a rainbow windbreaker, I would totally be keeping this. I paid almost, like, $15 for this at the thrift store, which is insane, but, you know, it's real cute, <laughs> and I want to give it to a loving home. Next one is one of many 80s kitsch or like fairy k sweaters I found recently. I, I think they're so fun to find. Like even though I usually I don't couldn't see myself wearing most of them because they're a little too pastel or like they're either a little they're a little too dark or too pastel and I it's hard for me to find a happy medium. I like bright colors if you can't tell. So I I haven't found one I've kept yet, but I found this amazing super long um 80s sweater the brand is village fair um and it's it's labeled an extra large but it's very very long so i i'm short i think it could fit me like a dress i maybe you'll see that in the try on and if you're plus size, like, it should fit you oversized if you're an extra, extra large. Or, like, an extra, extra large could fit this. And it would look really cute on a smaller medium, too, I think. That's the cool thing about thrifting. Like, if it can fit on your body, you can, you can wear it. Like, you can wear it in so many different ways. But, yeah, those are the two clothing items I found yesterday. And I actually found the two pieces to a set of fitted bed sheet set that... I was really excited about. These are the two pillowcases. Ooh, am I out of focus? There we go. Um, this one, it's a half of the rainbow. And then this one is the other half. It's so cool. I would totally be keeping this if I didn't already have the fitted bed sheet. It's a fitted sheet and it's for a twin size bed and I have a double bed so it there's no way it would fit my bed um I already tried so this will be up for sale I 
pretty sure I've seen this set online before and it also has like a sheet over top of it. So I have three of the four pieces, I think, but I don't know, someone should want it. <laughs> sorry, I was sick a couple days ago, so if I'm sniffling and being really gross, like, I'm sorry. I had to get up to get this one because I forgot it. Sorry if the angle is different. I know some people hate that in videos. I know some people don't like when you're not making eye contact with the camera either, but I actually really don't like that in <laughs> In videos I think it's kind of creepy I don't know <laughs> tell me what you think I, I like usually I don't notice it but if they're like making direct eye contact the entire time I think it's creepy like are you happy <laughs> anyways I found this really cute mug this is one of the only things I'm going to keep from yesterday's haul it's got smiley faces and pink and red hearts, which are like my two favorite things. And it has a little heart for the handle. It's so cute. I love mugs. I have like two more mugs um, in the, for this video. My bangs are not cooperating. And I'm keeping all of them because I have a mug problem. And, <laughs> and when I move out, I'm probably not going to have any cups. I'm not going to need to buy any cups. I just have mugs. <laughs> This is the last item I found yesterday, and I was actually, like, I was with my mom, and I was like, ooh, I do not know if I should get this, but, like, I looked it up, and people are selling these ones in, like, fair condition for, like, a lot of money, and um, I may not be interested in this. I'm more into, like, stuffed animals from the 80s and stuff, but this is a 1986 My Buddy, and he has, like, eyes that open and shut his hair is a little wonky but he's actually in pretty good condition like his shoes are a little cracked um yeah I'm pretty sure these are actually the dolls that Chucky was based off of because they were really popular in the 80s and like I don't know it, it's like very very similar like the shirt and the overalls and the tag right here uh, I don't know not my thing but I I still thought it was pretty cool I like the I like his rainbow shirt I want it <laughs> Yeah, and the rest of this stuff, ooh, ooh, that was not good. That was a mug against a mug. They didn't break, though. <laughs> um, The rest of the stuff is just stuff I found in the last couple months. Some of it I'm keeping, some of it I'm selling. Again, I, this is a really cool, um, it's actually, I think, this is a really, oh, it's two pillowcases. I was, like, really confused because I thought it was a, fitted twin bed sheet um but it's two pillowcases and it has really cool like 90s patterns on it and it's got like a little checker print too which I love checker print like I know it's like kind of an overdone trend but I love it so much <laughs> and actually I might be keeping these just because they're really cool but I don't have anything to match them with um, but I might sell them too. I'm, I'm not really sure. And then the next two things are both mugs and they both have rainbows all over them. <laughs> and I'm keeping both of them because I love rainbows. This I was actually looking for for like three months. Like I went to thrift stores like probably two, three times a week, like all over the, all, I, I my parents, grandparents <laughs> live a few hours away and I go thrifting there sometimes when I go visit them I go thrifting in the St. Cloud area I go thrifting like wherever I go and I finally found this in my grandparents town and I'm so happy like I've seen this exact mug online and like it's just the cutest thing ever it's the perfect rainbow like I like rainbows sometimes that r don't have purple in them it just looks like nice and it gives off more of a vintage feel um the inside's a little bit dirty I don't remember if it was like that when I got it honestly um but yeah I really love it and I'm keeping this forever <laughs> the next one it's a little smaller it's like a different kind of mug um it says, love is a rainbow for the heart. And it's got like a little rainbow on it. And then the rainbow like disintegrates into little rainbow hearts all the way around. And it's so freaking cute. I love it. <laughs> so far, I'm just like keeping these in my room because if I don't, I know that my stepdad will get coffee stains all over them. So I'm just like 
using them to put my pens in. <laughs> uh, this is the last clothing item, I believe, and I was so sad when it didn't fit me. Um, it's marked a extra large, which is ridiculous. I think it actually, because it has that stiff feeling, it's actually been shrunk in the wash um, by whoever owned it. It's just a nice rainbow sweater and I love like the especially the rainbow like in the middle I think it's so cute um but yeah it's it fits on my body but like I, it's not very comfortable and I don't like it I'm like a large so I think this would be better fit for someone who loves rainbows and is smaller than me like a smaller or medium and I think I can find a good home for it <laughs> and we're getting down to the last three items so this uh, I found, owned, and I was actually just watching, I really like watching Let's Players, like, that's my secret thing that I watch, like, all the time, um, and I was watching them play, watching Oni Plays play a Rugrats game, and I was, like, thinking, man, I really love Rugrats, and then I found this, it's, I believe this is Phil, because Lil has more of, like, a, I think she has pink shorts and she has a bow, so, he's from 1997. He's a little creepy. Um, I still think he's kind of cute. I'm going to sell him. <laughs> um, what's cool about this is I really don't think they make toys like this anymore that have, like, a soft vinyl head that squishes. And then they have, like, a soft body. It's kind of like the Simpsons um, collectibles from the 90s which is really cool. I love those. I, ha I only have Bart right now, but I, I'm, I'm about to get some other ones. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is really cute. It's in like fair condition. There's a lot of pilling on the clothes and stuff, but it still has this tag, which is super cool. Yeah, 1997 Viacom. <laughs> and then this, my mom actually found when we were thrifting in the cities and was like do you want this and I was like hell yeah it's like I might insert a clip of it on my shelf because it looks like a little better that way it's a rainbow like wooden block thing I'm pretty sure it's like for babies but I think it makes a really cute decoration it's got all the colors of the rainbow the purple is a little faded but I could always paint it and then the last item is just this cute rainbow tin again it doesn't have the purple heart it doesn't have the purple line and it has like the little disintegrating hearts i don't know if that was like a big thing like the 70s or 80s but yeah i and i opened it and actually had a ton of like cool vintage stickers in it like ones that had like a rainbow on it and said save the whales that was really cool um, but yeah, it just has a bunch of rainbow heart stationery in it, which is really cool. I don't know how often I use stationery, but I really like the box. I think it's real cute. <laughs> Anyways, I think that is it for this thrift haul. I'm really excited about everything I got. I'm gonna take some pictures right after filming this, and I think I should be uploading all of them tonight to Depop. Not everything, but some things. Trying not to be too selfish. <laughs> um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a nice, calm little thrift haul from my bedroom. All of my videos are in my bedroom, but this is on my bed. Isn't that neat? Um, sorry if my this lash like bothers you. It's like lifting up at the end. I just started wearing false lashes, and I'm still really bad at applying them. But you know, I'm gonna learn. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. <laughs>